Finale. Oh. You see, that's the Austrian way to celebrate the World Championships. And for that, once again, for the very last time, a warm welcome from the Predator World Pool Billiard Championships 2023 here from the Sports Park Klagenfurt, Austria. Good to have you back. It's the eighth ball final of the Manitoba final. Bosnia and Herzegovina against the United States of America. The youngster against a very, very strong guy from the US, the Dakota Kid. And now let me introduce you our athletes, dear friends. Give a boy big hands of applause representing Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sanin Bechlivanovic. <laughs> And also give it up for the guy all the way from the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane Van Burning. <laughs> Guys, we wish you all the best for the game. We hope for an exciting game. And I also want to introduce our referees. The game is official by our head ref, Roman Mirakmedov, and assisted by Togai Tantura and now it's time for the last game. Players, please lag for the break. So here it is, the final, the Predator WPA World 8-Ball Championships between Shane Van Bonin of the USA, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Sanjin Pelivanovic. Coming to you live from Klagenfurt, Austria, I'm Daryl Peach. And I'm joined by two-time world nine-ball champion, Albin Alshan. Welcome, Albin. I heard that before. <laughs> hey, Daryl, <laughs> nice to be back. Hey, exciting match here. So still race to 10. Yeah, we've got a bit of a David and Goliath clash here. We've got Shane Van Bonen. He's won virtually everything there is to win in the game. Yep. Except the 8-ball title. Yep, except the 8-ball title. So he'll be hungry for this one. And on the other side, we have Sanjin. Where it is like a breakthrough. I would actually say like half a year ago, maybe one year ago. And he was always there, always deep, always hungry for the title. Never reached it. And he's never been that close like now. It's a great break off. Great start. Definitely gonna choose the solids here. You see two ball, which he intended to make to the side. Heard uh, someone told me before Shane in his last match yesterday against Wojciech, each player had seven dry breaks in the semi final. Wow. And it went all the way to the hill. And uh, even there, Shane had to play his safety after making three stripes, and then Wojciech had two chances. With a l he missed two times the long pot, and then Shane ran out the last four or five stripes. So was a battle. Sounds like it. But on the other hand, we had Max and Sanjin. Where in the end, it was one position mistake that cost Max the match. Just taking his time here, first rack, so with a perfect break, he doesn't want to make any mistakes. Plenty of options for the route to take with this run out.
ended up a little bit short, but I think he's still still alright. Because he can play the eight ball in several pockets. Shane is incredible when it comes to practice. He's always in here like three hours before the match. He was here in the morning. I think yesterday uh, he was in the, in the pool club close by practicing for four or five hours where people told me they were afraid when they heard him breaking. It is something else when he's timing, yeah. the, timing the break, isn't it? Nice, solid run out there. First rack, Shane Van Boning. Break and run. In the crowd, you saw all the youth players from America. Supporting, obviously, Shane. We probably all grew up watching him winning several US Open titles, and it's hard to count what he has won. Yeah, the list's too long to, to go through. Yeah. <laughs> I think just yesterday I saw a picture of, of his titles. I think it was on Instagram or something. It was It was sick. <laughs> Well, can he repeat that break? Absolutely nailed the first one. Definitely nailed it, but it's dry. Yeah, hit him very well. Yeah, seven ball would have gone in. One ball came along. So what we got here, it's a tough wreck. I'm not sure if he got any stripes available to play. Maybe the 14, I don't know if it passes. Maybe the bank. But the solids, he could actually try to play the two ball and open up the, the four in front of the side pocket. I don't know, about three ball if it passes the 11, so a lot to do here. Yeah, hit it a little bit too full. Yeah, because he hit it full, the, the slick cloth just arced the cue ball. lot to do now play definitely tried with the six ball yeah play on the six I'm not sure if he's in a comfortable position to play the six without the rest is it fine yeah just good enough Well, he's definitely opened up the three, but the four. I think that worked out better than he thought when. When he actually hit the ball. Yeah, when yeah. he actually saw where the cue ball was going. Yeah. So. It's the four ball? Yeah, I think it's available. Hard to say from this angle. Played that one left-handed. From here, the four ball looks tricky, but I think he had already a look at it. There you see, it does go. Yeah. So just working out the angle which will give him the easiest path 
to that little window between the 13 and the 8 ball from that 5 ball. Well, he's played for it now. Makes sense, actually. Yeah. Perfect angle to get to the 5. Doesn't want to come up short or even too far. Yeah, it looks anywhere near the, the string line, doesn't it? Yeah. Pretty good. Use the top rail there. Always easier to judge the pace. Yeah. Using Just the rail. Feels more comfortable. Yeah. Actually gives you a visual target as well. Yeah. Well, he decided there was too much angle on the five to come down for the eight in the side, so should still be comfortable with this eight into the corner. <laughs> and it goes. So. Scores a level at 1-1. One, one. And that run out was obviously a lot tougher with the balls tied up, so might just settle him down a bit. Yeah, a little bit fortunate there with the with the opening shot for the five uh, for the four ball. But yeah, worked out pretty well. Did a good job afterwards. So in the semi-final last night, Sanjin was breaking from the side. Exactly from there. Exactly from this point. So this is how we finished break in yeah. in finished the match from yeah. this position. I think wasn't you it? ran the last two from there. Thoughts there, Albin? I think it's not his best break, was it? Yeah, yeah, no, his best break. And I think from the side, as I said yesterday, I think you have just less options to make a ball. Of course, you're always looking for the for the first ball into the side, and maybe the the four railer. But I think from the center, like we saw with Max yesterday, you just have more options. Yeah. The balls seem to have more yeah. mix, don't yeah. they? Yeah. And uh, got to wait and see what Shane will do his next break. Because also in his first break, he only made the first the first ball onto the side. Nothing else. Nothing came even close. So. I noticed to Shane early on in the tournament, it was hitting him at like 50% speed and as it's gone on he's sort of yeah you know just start to ramp it up a bit yeah he knows so much about the the rack and everything it's it's crazy and he got so much firepower he can break from everywhere so his issue might be here 
the five ball. All right, so he decided to open it up with three ball, which kind of tricky because I was of the 12, so he got to hit it perfectly. Yeah, doesn't want to push it yeah. to the side, yeah, does he? I don't he? know if it will just slightly touch them or play a little bit harder to get it back out one rail. Yeah. Oh. I mean, it's available to the side. I don't know if it's available to the corner as well. Yeah, even though it's come back to the nine ball, it's finished on the opposite side of the nine yeah. ball now, and it, it yeah, is so in a better position, isn't it? It's tough to get there. So you probably would choose the one as the last ball, probably go seven, five, one, and try to come with the one ball between the 15 and the 12. What I noticed is Shane is not playing with his extension. I'm not sure if he did in the last tournament, but he switched like back and forth a couple of times. I don't know why, maybe when there's like slick cloth, he thinks he doesn't need it. Yeah, I commentated on his first match actually, yeah. and he had it on, Yeah, but it didn't take long before it came off yeah. and it's not been on since, so. Yeah, maybe he thinks it's just too much power place with the extension it's a tough position here I think he his target is to go through 15 and 12 yeah or even hit the 12 yeah that's good yeah always had a nice pace didn't it yeah. that shot so Chose to keep it simple. Don't want to risk anything. Yeah. So in the end, another pretty solid run out. A little bit of traffic, nicely negotiated. on each side. Referee looking for that last ball in the pocket. That's always that last pocket, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's always on the opposite side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shane sticks to the side. Probably gives it one more try <coughs> to see how it works. Ball made his path through all the balls. So, um, well, it's actually open for both, yep. but probably we choose the, the stripes. Just got a the 15 ball to start with. Yeah, there's arguments for both, isn't there? But yeah, I think the two ball is uh, in yeah. maybe kind of a tricky position. 
four and the five, I don't know, I think the four is not available to the side. I think you gotta do something there which makes it just, I think, too much stressful and the, the, the stripes are just yeah, completely Agreed. open. You just have to have a straight shot to start with. Yeah, this will probably be the hardest shot of the run out. Yeah. So. Would be really surprised if he takes the solids here. All right. Maybe he doesn't feel comfortable yet. Yeah, the four, it doesn't look like it passes easy into that side pocket, does it? Not really. He definitely got much more work with the solids here. I think you're right, Albin. I think he just didn't fancy that long, long ball. Yeah, first. I think it was slightly jacked above the, the seven ball. Yeah. So, yeah, no. That's what you mentioned at the start. The two, even though it's in the middle of the table, yeah. it was tricky to get nice yeah, on the, it. There was no other solids close by to get there easily. So, um, yeah, I don't really understand why he chose the solids. I think it was no need to. Well, he's going to be going into the four and the yeah. one here. Good recovery shot, but didn't work out well. It's almost even worse now. What you gonna do here now? Play the five? Oh, he's played the bank, all right. Yeah, we'll just play with pocket speed. Leave the cue ball maybe down there for the one. Or just, well, all right. Yeah, playing it like nine ball. <laughs> I suppose it it hitting it that speed, it, it is easier to make the four. No, definitely better control. So I always favor to to play it with more speed. No. Nope. Yeah. Get out of position once and never get back into it. I think the 14 passes, right, the 9. Yeah, and when you move all the solids now, you can see what Shane would have had if he'd have took the long yeah. 15 yeah. on. So a little surprise there. And a bit of a gift for Sanjin, this. Yeah, definitely. Simple, nine in. Rolled a little bit further and he wanted to finish straight on this 11 ball, so. But it's not, it's not a dilemma, he's just gonna either just bump off the bottom rail, leave the eight ball in the same pocket. A little present there from Shane. We tied it too. Okay. 
Yeah, and it has to be said, you don't usually, when he's uh, he got his hand on the table, Shane, you don't usually get many gifts, do you? Nope. I didn't get any from him. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I was, I was really surprising because uh, he had just uh, the stop shot. I mean, it was not the easiest shot, but still, I think uh, when you looked at the solids, I think it was just easy to choose yeah. the stripes. Yeah. But yeah, maybe he just didn't fancy the shot or something else. Well, he sat in his chair there, arms folded. Not great body language, that. Like Earl. Exactly like Earl. Earl-esque. Yeah. <coughs> so he goes back to the side before he was breaking a little bit more inside. It's funny that no one goes to the center. I don't know. Did Sunshine break from the center yesterday? No. And I think I haven't seen Shane breaking from the center. Actually, the rack didn't look as good as before. How they opened up. I think in slow-mo you could see yeah. those six, seven balls on the left side. They were, was not the best rack. But he hit him, hit him nice. But then I still think if if the rack's not racked perfect, I think you're better from the centre, because yeah. from the side it's just yeah. like it in, it in rice pudding, yeah. isn't it? Nothing yeah. happens True. to the. Yeah, I would look at the solids here. Because of the, maybe the 11, I don't know if it passes the one. I think the solids are nicely open. It's just about the eight ball. I think you just have to play much better position with the, with the stripes. leave the five as the last ball because it's the easiest way to get to the eight. Oh, wow. Didn't expect that. Did you see anything there, Albin? Did he, was it just a bad miss or? Yeah, I think he just didn't go through. I think he, he stopped the stroke a little bit before. I could see him putting the extension on now. Just to enable the queue to go through a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit more weight at the back yeah. of the queue, yeah. Because he's used to play with like a longer bridge, you know, which is of course much easier with the extension on it. Yeah, the obvious answer to why he's not using it is because it is eight ball and you don't move the cue ball as much, yeah, do you? Yeah. And it's a slick cloth, so so you might overdrew many balls or whatever. But he actually underdrew one before. Yeah, he did. So um So yeah, two gifts in a row now. So what do you think? Four, six and down past the ten ball for the, is it the seven ball down at the bottom? Yeah, the, the question is, I mean, it's not a big risk because uh, he don't want to get too far. He doesn't want to really land straight on it or frozen on the, on the rail. Worst case, obviously, would be straight and frozen on the rail. So, um, but yeah, I think it's it's just natural path to go there. 
We could also bump to 10 ball. So not many things could go wrong here. Yeah. Yep, he has bumped that 10 ball. Yeah, we'll definitely play for the corner here, even though it's over the side pocket, that five ball. Yeah, just play with a little bit inside English here. The reason he's playing for the corner is because it's easier to leave a straight in shot so he can just stop it for the eight ball. It's nicely played. Yeah. Yeah, probably two unexpected racks for Sanjin in a row. Give Shane something to think about. Oh, he used all the pocket there. Wow. But in goes the eight ball. And he's now got a 3-2 lead. And if he had any nerves at the start of this match, those two gifts will definitely uh, help calm him down a bit. Yeah. We see Kareem, head of Predator WPA board, my manager, Gerald, who runs the whole event. See Martin from Poland, Shane Tari from the USA. What's he going to do? Looks like center. Yep. I like it. I like this move. Just not enough power for the second ball into the side, but of course it makes you tired of, of uh, getting two racks, and but you cannot get a ball down on the break. I think it's the third one for Sanjin now, third dry break in a row. Yeah, yeah. Only, only Shane made one. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this, Albin. You know when he broke there, yeah, the cue ball because he's hitting down on the cue ball, yeah. it's bouncing as it goes towards the front ball. When he made contact on that front ball, he made contact quite high up on the one ball, which yeah. meant that the yeah. cue ball then so jumped in the air. And the cue ball loses, obviously, power. Driving through the, the yeah. pack, yeah. yeah. So Shane can, for sure, develop more power. So, not sure what he might do in the next break if he gets one obviously but uh, he was for sure checking how the balls went on on the break of Sanjin oh. not happy about it I think he wanted to hit the five I think the two is available. Yeah, it's definitely available, but not the shot re you really fancy to play. And also the five ball is now clustered. It's like like really slow roll. Open the five with the one. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's pretty much perfect. I think it's natural angle and the seven ball is there as like a little insurance. Just doesn't want the, the purple four to go with the yeah. two stripes. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. Nicely. nicely done. <laughs> nicely controlled, nice speed. And noticeably a little bit quicker around the table as well. Yeah. Just yeah. trying to be a bit more positive. Yeah, he's also more experienced, you know, I think more and more calm maybe. He's been there so many times. He knows how to handle that situations, you know. Big skid, skid there. But he's using Master Chalk since I don't know. I don't know when was the last time I used the Master Chalk. Probably when I was like 18 or something. So <laughs> no, it's it's no <laughs> offense, but still, I mean, there there's a there's a reason why so many players, you know, change to prior to uh, chalk or kamui or whatever is on the market you know yeah yeah just leaves no marks on the table uh, on the table and on the on the balls and i think you cannot say that about the master's chalk interesting i really can't tell when was the last time i had a skit with new balls or something with the Prater Chalk, like maybe once a year or something. And uh, so, yeah, I uh, uh, don't really understand why I'm still using Masses Chalk. Yeah, I, I commentated on one of his matches earlier on in the tournament. And there we see it. There was three skids in one rack. Yeah. So the common denominator here is, mm. is something to do with what the equipment change using that's what you'd think isn't yeah. it because all the other matches that i've done i've, I've not seen any skids yeah. even when the balls are like like polished and everything uh i think the chalk stays on it even quicker and longer yeah so um yeah i don't see a big reason why to to use to use master's chalk and I don't think it's because he didn't get any offers from any chalk company, <laughs> you know. <laughs> no, that's not um, the reason. But, um, yeah, maybe it just wants to be like a little bit old school, like back in the days, I don't know. Well, he broke from the side again and hmm. again. No success. Nothing really threatened a the pocket there, did it? No. The rack did seem a little bit clunky again, you know. Yeah. So he did a good job here. I don't know about the seven ball. If it's an open shot or he got to do something, he definitely needs the right angle or right position to play it. He got the three up there. ball to the side might be available taking care of these balls here. Seven obviously goes. 
Yeah, it looks like he's in no danger at all. The way he plays. Probably gonna do one, two, three. Or is he playing from one, two to three? Yeah, the eight is definitely available. Yeah, and he's putting his cue there, so the seven obviously goes quite easily. So, just want to overdraw it. That looks perfect. So, just got to negotiate that nine ball. It looks like it's going <coughs> to move it, I think. Yeah. Nicely done. Eight ball goes in the side. Four, three, and six. Dry break so far. I think only Shane <laughs> made one in the very first rack. <laughs> Definitely something to think about for both. What to do better. Yeah, trying to work, work it out. Obviously when, <coughs> excuse me, obviously when there's a lot of dry, <coughs> a lot of dry breaks, it's going to be a bit of back and forth because each player is getting to the table and then giving the table up and then yeah. getting, and it's just, it's hard, uh, hard to get away because they're not putting any yeah. packages together, yeah. are they? It's also hard to really get into your comfort zone, you know. It's like you, you're in the third gear and no chance to go into the fourth. Yeah. And as a pool player, whether it's eight ball, ten ball, nine ball, it doesn't matter. If you're running racks, there's no better feeling, is there? Whereas if you keep breaking dry, you know you're just giving the table up. So you see already thinking of what to do. Just thought giving it one more go. I don't know if he changed the position slightly. Uh, looks pretty much the same to me. That's one of the worst feelings you can have in pool. You see your opponent is a little bit struggling, but you cannot get away, you know. You had four dry breaks and you're still up because you got two gifts from your opponent, yeah. but you cannot do nothing with it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Now you're sitting in the chair again. Gonna choose the solids here. Yeah, well, actually, oh, I think it's all right with the solids. Just needs to go down on the one to the one ball. I think the only 
where we might be seven but I think it's available to the side pocket yep this next shot will tell us if it is available in the side yeah, seven one ball up next Who's that? Oh, no clue. <laughs> Doesn't look like a pool player. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't really enjoy playing in this event this year, obviously. I mean, we enjoyed it, but uh, was not super successful. But yeah, it's it's tough to play at home. It's like a special feeling. It's a little bit more, I would say, pressure. It's a funny kind of pressure, yeah, isn't yeah, it? It's, yeah, it's kind of strange. You play in front of your family, uncle, whatever, friends. Uh, it's it's kind of, you sleep at home. You know, it's, it's yeah, kind of funny. Yeah, it, it is funny. It's yeah. It should it should benefit you, but sometimes yeah, it just yeah. yeah the expectation and everything from family and friends. Yeah. So what's he gonna do here? Is date available to the side? Looks from here, but it might be tougher than it looks. So I don't know if it just can roll it in with English. No. Might draw it out two rails, or that's a small gap to go through, I believe. He did a good job there. Yeah, wasn't too much room for error. Yeah. Well, after that skid a couple of racks ago, he's getting the cue ball cleaned. Doesn't want anything happening with this eight ball. <laughs> in it goes. Back in business, tied at four. Just feel sooner or later, somebody's gonna start making balls on the yeah. break. And the other one will be sick about it. Yeah, absolutely. So, would you change if you would be Shane? I would, yeah. 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 I mean when when I've got the ammunition that he's got. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, if you got that fire power and the everything, power, yeah. it's Kelly yeah. Fisher and Alison Fisher looking on. Yes. Both got to the semi-final of the women's. Yeah, bronze for both. Uh, yeah. <coughs> At one point, we thought it's we might be having an all-British final. Yeah, I think Alison lost Hill Hill. I think she was up like 8-4 or something. Yeah. Saw a little bit of the match. Kelly looked like she didn't really had a chance. That's the way it goes. So, Shane, breaking from the spot where Sunshine started. And it's funny, I, I'll tell you something after the break. Or? Well, well so nothing to tell you about. <laughs> He's going back to the, the, the same place where he didn't have any success last time. Well, the crowd appreciating it because the ball's down. Yeah. So actually, if you saw where he put up the cue ball before, I played with him in the King's Cup. Uh, that was like uh, rest of the world against Asia. And it was Shane, Mika, Darren and me. And he gave us a little lesson because it was also with the triangle. And he said, if you break from here, you get the, uh, the most balls get uh, like kicked or uh, I don't know how to 
tell you exactly, but that's a spot where the, the balls get kicked the most. The most action. Mo yeah. Most action, right. And that was exactly where he actually put up the cue ball there. And he gave us a, a lesson for like an hour or something. And he showed us. And then in his first match, he broke from there and the 10 ball counted. And he, he made the 10 into the corner. And it was the greatest break I ever saw in my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, that's fabulous. He told us so much about the, the rack and everything because we were allowed to check the rack and he told us, yeah, if there's a gap, do this, go there, blah, 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 whatever. It was just incredible. Yeah. You know? I mean, you can only imagine how much time he spent <laughs> um, to learn everything about it. Yeah, and some people, well, he's... All right, he got a yeah, nine ball knife. there. Some people think this game's just about pocketing balls. Yeah. I mean, when I heard stories about him that he's sometimes like a break session, he does like eight hours. Well, just break it. Just break. Wow. Well, he's cued that really nice yeah. there. Avoiding contact with a four ball. for the 11 yep. as the final two straight <laughs> well he's, <laughs> he's still not happy oh, I think he's all right just where he pointed he's fine 10 ball 12 I think even does he if he comes too far he's still got the option to go with the 10 to the 8 ball He's good. Yeah, held it nicely. And again, cue ball clean. Doesn't want any slides. Ten ball will be first. I think that was something maybe Sunjin was worried about, you know. Because obviously Shane wasn't feeling that comfortable yet, but maybe with this run out and everything being having more table time, he might feel better and could potentially run away with the, with the score. Yeah, well, 5 4, and we said you feel like someone's going to start putting a few break and runs together. Could this be? that moment yeah a little turn around in Sanjin's semi-final match he, he barely made a mistake in the middle of racks just dry breaks co cost him mm -hmm. well didn't cost him the match but it, it meant that the match become very close yeah and same in this match he's not made a mistake in the m in the middle of a rack yeah <coughs> just the dry breaks breaks kept him in a seat so Shane sticks to his break obviously was successful now is halfway well another dry break Nine of the main 
issue of this rack. So he has got the 10 ball there. If you look on the top rail, that he can play virtually straight away. Just wants to bump the three. Doesn't want to bump the nine. Well, he's bumped it, but he's not bumped it enough. Now he's in danger. I mean, actually landed in a good position. Yeah, he can play the 15, like a little stop shot and try to open it up with the 11. Extension. Oh yeah, he's starting with the 11. Little body movement there. Yes, definitely saw it. Ed came up. Yeah. Can't see it from that replay, but the Ed definitely came up on the shot yeah. then. And now that three ball's wide open. Yeah, he might. It's only a world final, isn't it? Yeah. Round the back, no problem. No time to waste to get the rest. <laughs> <laughs> we all did it. You too, probably. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least once in a lifetime. Yeah. Just needs a nice angle here to go like three rails. Wanted to land straight on that five ball. So this shot is more like a play into a certain zone. We don't really play for a certain ball. Where was he? Oh yeah, it looked like he was drawing, sorry. That was actually, didn't use much uh, much of uh, much of spin. Spin, yeah. yeah. Just played like a follow, or like half tip spin. Yeah, if he played it with more spin, it, he could have got the cue ball further up the table yeah. towards the six. We're facing a tricky shot here. Yeah, and I think he's a little bit hampered by that 12 as well, yeah. so... Probably just wants to draw the cue ball back about one inch. One or two inch. Good job there. Nice. <laughs> nice recovery shot. Ideal again. Might choose to play to the side pocket. Just noticed as well. If you, well, you, you won't see it again this shot. Well, you might just see it there, but Shane's putting his chalk in his trouser pocket. I've never seen him do that before. Yeah. I always thought he I left think his chalk he, on the table. I think he's doing it with, with shot clock, I believe, just to save a little bit of time. Well, Sanjin had first chance in that rack and made a bit of a hash of it. 
And it's Shane that comes away with it. So it's 6-4 now. A little bit of a gap, a little bit of breathing space. Max Lechner here. I think he can be proud of himself. Played a good tournament. Just one position mistake in the end cost him the match. And uh, yeah, he said he didn't sleep too well yesterday. But I think he will come back stronger, definitely. Great player and great guy. Yeah, last rack gave Sanchin something to think about. And? <laughs> it's, it's a strange one. You know when you asked me, Albin, would you change? And I said, yeah, I would change. But he's winning. He's doing this and he's winning. So maybe, is that a reason to stay there? Oh. That was a close one. Four ball. Oh yeah! Wow. Oh, nice touch there. So what's up there with the six, the ten, and the twelve? Looks. I think you mentioned it yesterday. When you watch those replays, sometimes it's, it's amazing when you watch the ball how it's got yeah, to the yeah, pocket there. Yeah. yeah, especially the the four railer. You know. How it uh, makes his path through like I don't know 10, 15 balls. It's crazy. <laughs> That's a tough wreck here. Because the problem I see here with the solids, if he opens up the six ball, he got no like insurance ball to play for if he doesn't have position for the six when he opens them. But he got no stripes up there to open up the stripes. So he actually has to take yeah. the solids. Yeah. So what you're saying is he's going to probably use the five ball to break the six up, which takes away his insurance for yeah. for getting on yeah. after the break yeah i mean he could play the two the one and then try to open up with the seven he's taking the solids wow oh trying to play the combo yeah well he's on it yeah yeah it's hard to see from here it was available well to be honest looking at that if he does make the 12, the 6 ball is going to stop the 10 ball more or less where it is. Yeah. So it's quite easy to judge where he needs that cue ball. Yep, With 10 ball. 6 ball. <coughs> yeah, I think the 13 is not available to the side. Gotta play the 10 ball, but where to? He might just. He's following it, maybe for the. This doesn't look good to me, unless he can get through to that 15 ball. Seem to play that with right hand spin. You yeah. check the ball up. It's rough on on sick, on slick cloth. I actually thought he would just try to go two rails in between those balls to have more options, you know. Because if he comes in here between the three and the thirteen, he just got more options to to play for. So I'm going for the bank here. Mm. Yeah. multiple titles in bank divisions in the US. So 
what's he doing here now? I was just going to say, when you said he's, he sometimes practices eight hours a day just breaking, I bet he practices eight hours a day just banking as well. Yeah, for sure. Great shot here. The pressure of the clock. Still not over. I'll just play nine, draw it back. to the side or corner I think corner might give him easier position wow he's just got another skid I think that was another skid right but he gotta hurry up he, I think he got no extension anymore that's amazing but I think he also practiced jump eight hours a day sometimes. Well, let's find <laughs> out. Wow, it's amazing. I think I've never seen that. Yeah, disgusted. Yeah, it's it's awful when you <laughs> when played that happens and it's not your fault. That's the yeah. I played many good shots in that rack. Then all of a sudden you're a little bit in the zone. You know, you you feel good and then you don't think about letting the cue ball cleaned again. Yeah, and then there's another skid. Yeah. Well, Sanjin's had three gifts now yeah, this match. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy he didn't have one successful break, but he's still in the match. Yeah. Plays the eight ball into the opposite corner, and all of a sudden, six five and breaking. It's game on again. Okay, just a quick note, folks. Albin will be staying with you for the remainder of this final. Uh, well, I'm now going to step aside and pass my microphone onto my good colleague, Tim De Reuter, who will guide you through to the rest of this final. Thanks very much. There we are. Hi, Tim. Hi good Tim, evening, good to be everyone. Yeah, good to be here with you. Good yeah, funky I match. Somehow had pretty much everything. Dry breaks. Shane made some errors, skits. Yeah, I was watching the match from upstairs, and uh, I seen Sanji miss that opportunity to make it five each. Yeah, and for a second, I felt Shane was gonna run. But then, yeah, just now didn't get on the eight, which could be a really big turnaround again. Yeah, it was already his second skit in the match. And it actually looked like he's a little bit in the comfort zone now, and then all of a sudden skid and he's out. Got to hope to get that to the table as soon as possible. Finally, that's a big relief. Yeah, and a good layout as well. Just. Uh, 
four ball blocking the 10. First thing I spotted. I think he's just happy now to be still on the table after the break. So yeah, everything looks fine. Don't see any problems, maybe just a five if he takes the solids. And he will definitely take the solids, I believe. Yeah, if you take the one away early, you can get from the seven to the short side of the five as well. True. Still, it's a wide open layout, and still it's kind of tricky. Yeah, also, I'm not sure if the eight ball is available to the 11. Hard to say, but definitely the biggest problem is the five ball. Is he gonna try and Yeah, he get might go. Oh. Yeah, if he can cut the one, draw the cue ball in the corner, two rails, and then go off the seven to the five. Yeah. But still the four is not very easy to get on. Could also go shoot the seven now and always have the one as a backup, but I feel the short side of the five would be easier from the yeah. seven. Oh, he took a big risk there. Wow. There was there was no need to do this, I believe. I think that he had many options to play the five into side pocket, corner pocket. Yeah, he could have taken the one way first. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, now he's in trouble. I don't think the two ball goes in the top right corner. Okay, he's called it, so it must go. Yeah, two ball is available. Got to come play inside, maybe two rails, come back out for the four. Yeah, I got to play into this gap between the 14 and 10. Yeah, Over he's missed it. it. What a chance for Shane. Yeah, it was too risky to open up the five ball because there was there was no need for it. There were many options to. Well, he was also not guaranteed to have a backup shot yeah, on that. Yeah. If he runs into the five, it was going to be random. So. Still need some work with the 10 ball. Just wonder if he can hold the cue ball and sh make the 13 run into the 10, or... He might try to bump the 5 away, which can be risky, scratching. Oh, the 4, sorry. Yeah, there is a scratch if he goes there, unless he can go one or two rails into the 4, maybe from the back of it. Nicely done. And now he's straight on the 13. He might change his plans. Yeah, I feel if he can get decent on the 15, he can go 15, 10, 11, 9 or 9, 11. I think, I think 9, 11. But he's opting to shoot the 9 first. I think the 11. Yeah. Oh. Got that little thick. He's all right. Just got close enough on the 15 to still be comfortable. Now get off the rail a little bit. Still left himself I a little strange here. I just wanted to say, I think I would have drawn it back just a few inches to have less angle. Not sure if he's going to play with inside. He might end up being straight. Yeah, and he won't be able to play with Max inside because he doesn't want to have the angle to the bottom if he ends on the short rail. So he played the other side of the four. Yeah, pretty two, decent. Two rails out. If it's available. Or 
just roll it in. Yeah, with some left spin. Asking for the cue ball to be cleaned. Maybe he felt that contact on the nine was a little yeah. strange and he's already had a couple skids. Yeah, we talked about it before with Daryl, why he's using the Masters chalk. Because you rarely see players anymore with the Masters chalk. 7 5. Steal of the rack. Again, made possible by Sanjin playing the bump on the five. Sanjin just went out for a little break, so we are going for a break as well, I guess. So yeah. we're going to yeah. be right back for you guys. This is really one of the final 2023. We love to see this game and in a few moments we will continue. You know, it's a short time out for Salamin Pekli Ivanovic and we will continue in a few moments. Mittlerweile auch zu uns gekommen Landessportdirektor Arno Arthofer und Sportstadtrat der Stadt Klagenfurt, Franz Petritz. Herzlich willkommen. Die beiden Herren werden wir dann auch noch bei der Siegerehrung sehen. Siegerehrung der Damen und der Herren des heutigen Finaltages. Dann direkt im Anschluss hier bei uns in der Arena. Also bitte unbedingt da bleiben, Ladies and Gentlemen, the World Ceremony of Today Finals. Women and Men directly after this final game of men here at the arena table one. So, gleich geht's weiter in dieser spannenden Partie, in diesem Finale und mit Weltmeistertitel. Und noch ist gar nichts entschieden, haben wir auch schon gehört und das öfter eben schon gesehen. Genau, es ist ein Race to 10, das heißt, ja. wer erster eben den 10 Punkt erreicht. 5 zu 7 im Moment der Spielstand. Dann wir es aus der Sicht des Bosniers betrachten. In the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, you were equal fans of these two guys. Let's check if it's the same now. 
We want to hear you. Where are the fans from Bosnia Herzegovina? Where are the fans from Sanje Bechlianovic? And who are the fans from the fans from the United States of Shane? Yeah, and then it gets back up. Wieder ausgeglichen. So we are back here, WPA Predator World 8-Ball Men Championship. Shame for boning breaking, 7-5 after a pretty big mistake from Sanjin last track. Made a ball on the break and first look at the table, not looking too bad. Just maybe underneath the 8, a little clustering, but yeah. see the 13 just 13. coming up yeah, together with the 4. Tricky position, otherwise it would have been much easier. Could choose to use the five now and run into the four as the six seven is pretty next to it. Yeah, it's actually the only solid he could can play for. I'm not sure if the six is available to the side. Yeah, it looks really tight. Yeah, it doesn't look good to me. Yeah, the stripes look... Well, also the 11 doesn't go to the corner, so that's already a tough position for the stripes. There, the 6 doesn't go. Otherwise, he could shoot the 6 and bump into the 4 with the 5 over the hole. Really surprised he's going for... Oh, the 13. Oh. Yeah, he's lost the cue ball a bit. And he will he have to play a good position on the 11 later on. Yeah, he got the 12th ball there. That's a very thin cut. He's probably playing position maybe for the 9. Yeah, just wondering what ball he's going to use to get to the bottom side of the 11 for the top right corner. Oh, he might get perfect that on the 10. He wasn't trying to get there, but he... Yeah. <laughs> I would like it. Go to the 11 now. So if he gets to the 11 now, it's just all about how to get to the 8 ball. Probably with the 9. Yeah, not ideal. Want it to be straight or even have an angle to the middle of the table. Yeah, and now he's gonna bump the two. That's why he's not gonna go forward for the 15 or the 14. He's just trying to make sure he doesn't do too much and now make a big mistake. So he's playing the nine. Probably nine, 15, and then go with the 14 on the two ball or between the two and the seven. Yeah, some work to do for SVB. Yeah, I mean, he's still all right. Needs a nice angle on the 15. Just wondering if, yeah, he's looking at going two rails, but is he going two rails, the path in between the four and the eight to get to the right side? Definitely a much tougher position to play for. And he got the side and the corner pocket available. Still needs a good shot here. Is he going three rails? Yeah. I might like the three rails yeah, better three than just rails. two. He's a cue ball to go. 50 yard, he's okay here. to make something happen on that shot. Played an excellent shot there. To go 8-5. There it is. Break and run.
two mistakes in the middle part for Sanjin and it's now becoming a big gap in this match. Yeah, and also three wrecks down, the break is not really working, so quite tough task for him now. Predator Apex nine foot table. Just gotta stay patient, hoping for a dry break on Shane's side. That's the only thing Sanjin can do. You would expect Shane, if he makes one or two balls on the break, to be done. It's just all about the break, usually, in eight ball. Yeah, I think that's a very big rack now. I think if he gets on the hill now, 9-5, he also knows he's almost through with the way Sanjin was breaking the balls or being not really successful with it. him as good as he wanted. Yeah, cut and that head ball like a little bit more. It looked like less power and it's nicely open. He's going for stripes just because the five ball doesn't go to the top left. Just I would like to try and get the 14 out as soon as possible. And the eight might go in the top left corner in this view where the four is. I think those are the only things he has to be cautious about. I think he's again not there where he wanted to be. Not sure he think he wanted to land straight on the 13 to finally get the 14 out of the way. I think he's looking at playing a combo on the 14-15. Should be all right if he plays a combo. It's not gonna tie up as long as you play enough speed. Yeah. Opting to shoot a nine here. Draw back for 13, no. Oh, he play, yeah, he, oh, he chose he played to go to the top right corner. Still wondering if the eight doesn't go in the bottom left. It's kind of on the low side too of the table, so the top corners are not great. Side pocket is also not great to play. We just, it looked like he was not happy with the contact. Yeah, I think he's in good position for the 14. Probably his last ball will be the 15, but he still needs a good angle for that one to get on the eight. Well, I wouldn't also, would not like to shoot the combo as your last shot of the rack, yeah. because if the 15 gets a little strange, you don't really get to go to the eight. That's why he takes the 14 now. Still sensitive, really needs the angle to yeah. come down table. Felt like, yeah, yeah the cue ball got a little bit far. It's okay if the eight goes, yeah, uh, otherwise you will have to draw. Stop shot. Oh, okay. okay, so the eight must go then. Yeah. Big rack, 9-5 or 
It's also tough to stay calm as well because he's made a couple mistakes. So knowing that your opponent is running a little bit away in this final is doing a pretty good job so far. Yeah, definitely. Played perfect set in the semifinals. I mean, to do one mistake or two in the final when you've been there for the first time, I think it's not necessary to to be really mad about it. Happens, happens to the best. I mean, also Shane didn't play flawless. He was just more successful with the break. He's still in the match. Nothing to worry about, but still a big wreck now. He doesn't want to get Shane on the hill first. Breaking from the same side again. Yeah, breaking from the same side. He made the ball once. Big squat from the cue ball, and again, it's going to end up dry. Massive break. Still not enough. Well, also, if your opponent is breaking from the other side and you feel he's being a little bit more successful than you are, why not copy him? Absolutely. Yeah, I was actually in many matches where I thought, I think it's about time to change something. And uh, yeah, there's still hope for a miracle. Shane definitely going here for the stripes. Yeah, start with the 15, 15, 13, 14, 11, I'm guessing. And 10, 12, 9, 8. I think I would actually maybe even start with the 14. I don't know what the angle is. Well, you could right. also take the 14 now to get to yeah, the 13. Yeah, no, I just thought it was nicer to queue. But he was all right. So yeah, nothing really to worry about here. The only ball that he could maybe be a little tricky with is the nine. Depending on how he gets on the 10, you will uh, will open up the whole bottom area. I hope he won't forget to let the cue ball cl be cleaned. Yeah, especially on these slow, dead weight balls, you know, like mm. the just it's a little sticky. Yeah, and every shot is like a medium roll, so perfect to get a little skid. Now he can go forward, have either the 12 yeah, or the 9. Pretty much do whatever he wants. Yeah, this is to get on the hill. I think would also put a lot of pressure on Sanjin if he gets back to the table. Mm, there we go. Yeah, I think he has to play soft draw on the nine. Could also draw into the short rail, come back out. Yeah, Can you play you forward, forward, maybe? Yeah, yeah forward one, one rail. rail. Yeah, 
It's great on the eight. Looks like Shane Van Boni is gonna be on the hill. No, last break for Shane. He's looking to go to the center. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes from the center. Break has been all right from the side rail. Yeah, I think it was like 50-50, I would say. Not sure. But also, at least you got to choose something that you feel you feel happy with. You know, even yeah. if you have a dry break, you might lose a match. You at least felt like you did the right thing. True. You don't want to regret the choice you make. Hung the twelve, and look at the cue ball. He's made a ball too. Another storyline for Sanjin. Back and forth, whole match. Do you think now he might get over the line or put a like a two, three, four pack? You see any problems here? I think it will definitely take the solids, right? Not really problems, but. Sometimes when it's too easy. Yeah, yeah, it's I hard just would like to take the two yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, true. Really it's hard soon. to say what he really played for. I think it was more like I, I just draw it back. But yeah, he wants to get the two out of the way. Six, three, one in the side and then go for, for the two or the four. Yeah, he might leave the three. Three balls down there for the last three before the eight. Hard to say. I think the one is a pretty good shot to go down and then to stay down. Oh, a little bit more spin on the cue ball. Can still go one reel to the center of the table. Ideally, try to get perfect on the two. Yeah. Finally. Has to play the two ball. Is he played now? <coughs> no. Extension. I think just top spin, maybe a hair of inside would be okay. Yeah. Doesn't really have to load the cue ball up. Got many options there. Play four. Then the two. Is he coming back up again for the two? Yeah, he's no, waiting with that two ball. Yeah. And that's something I really don't like in this particular situ situation. I think I would have actually played already after the six. I would have played position for the two. 
No, he is in more trouble than he wanted to be. And again, he flicks the eight. He's all right. Yeah, actually gives him a really good angle to yeah. get on the one ball. So he doesn't want to land straight or on the rail. I think he's going to play two rails. Just to stay away from the rail. If you bump the second rail, you're always off the rail. That's nice on the one. Still got to play it. Yeah, he can yeah, ride back between the 8 and the 10. Yeah, the 8 in the same side pocket as the 1. Oh, sorry, 8 and the 12. <laughs> Where's he going in between the 8? I like drawing this, though. Yeah. Nice shot. <laughs> Looks to be 9-7. And the crowd wants it to go hill hill. Yeah, of course. It's always exciting to see. Well, Shane, uh, Sanjin definitely got to do something with the break now. Yeah, hoping he's not doing the same thing he's been doing the whole match. Has to change something. Predator error wreck in action. Predator Arcos two balls being wrecked for this young man here. Huge talent from Bosnia and Herzegovina. And he's still in it to win it. Why not? Oh, of course. He's pulled away a couple matches like this already in the tournament, so could do it again. So it looks like they were break from the side where Shane breaks. Which also, I don't know if it's the best. I mean, at least he changed something. Yeah, that puts so the cue ball a little bit off the rail. Yeah. Doesn't yeah, it didn't hit good. it head on, and there's a chance for Shane. <laughs> the funny part is yesterday's match, Max against Sanjin. Max, I think he broke from the center all the time, and I think he had seven or six successful breaks out of eight, I believe, breaking from the center. And so it's hard for me to understand sometimes why not just to try. I mean, Sunshine actually tried, but he, he didn't hit him really good. So... Yeah, of course, it, it really its a terrible feeling when you're actually feeling good or you're playing all right. He didn't play his best in his, in his set, but uh, when you were when the break just puts you back in your seat all the time, you know. It's also really difficult to play a perfect set, like to feel good if yeah. the break is never going your way. The break really makes you play good at times. To be honest, till now, I don't know if Sunshine made a run out in this match, which is terrible, you know. I think he had dry breaks, and I think Shane made two or three mistakes. And uh, I think he had one successful break, uh, and I think he didn't run out there. So that's quite terrible, terrible feeling for Sunjin. So I do like to go probably 12, 9, and then 11, and go from the 13 to the 8. He went over to the top side of the table. We'll yeah. have to do something from the 9 to the yeah. 8 then. Also, Just the 8 does go in two corners, so he doesn't really have to play the top yeah, side. Being on the hill, playing for world title, you don't want to do too much, especially with the last ball to the 8, you know. 
so I think it's it's easier now it's easier position just roll this in just needs a good angle here that's the only thing he has to worry about probably going one rail coming back so ideally he wants to be straight on it could choose to stun the cue ball yeah, over right yeah, away. I just wanted to say it. Oh, he chose to play for the side. All right. Well, he did yeah. get that close to perfect. perfect. Yeah. yeah. No, it's smart shot. Risky, but uh, it's a good shot. Well, the good thing is if he floats a 12 in, you always have an angle to automatically just cross over. Yeah. So it's just float the 9 yeah. in, don't get a skid, basically. True. Yeah. Yeah. For his first World 8 Ball title here, two shots away. I'm not sure if, if that's not his biggest price check he ever got. Not sure about that. But he's gonna be cashing $75,000. Oh. Oh. oh, on the rail. Cue ball to be cleaned. One shot away. I think he still got his extension. How is the nerves? He made this shot a thousand times. For the world title. And there it goes. <laughs> Shane Van Boning, our world eight ball champion. Well done, Shane. Yeah, congratulations to him. Also, <laughs> nice celebration there. Also, <laughs> good to see you. So happy. Good to see. Ladies also, congratulations to Sanjin, of course. Played a great yeah. tournament. Yeah, he fought hard. United played States hard of America, out. please give a big hand for Shane. Yeah, yeah so boy. thank you, Alvin, for being with us all week. Thanks, Tim. It's nice to be here. Yeah, Tim De Reuter, Alvin Ocean. To both of you guys. And make sure you stay for and the closing ceremony. It's going to be... Place Soon after this, two. so don't Sanji. go anywhere. Thank, Thank you, and have a good evening. Bosnia, Herzegovina. What a huge game. And uh, we'll be listening to the winner's interview in a couple of seconds. Unbelievable. What a smile. Congrats. The new 8-ball world champion, ladies and gentlemen, Shane Van Burning! Shane, lead us through your emotions right now. Well, I mean, all my life I, I love 8-ball. I've been playing 8-ball all my life and, um, you know, one of these days I wanted to be the world champion. And um, here it is. So, um, it's just a, a lot of emotion going inside me and uh, it, it really means a lot to me. Of course. We're, we're cheering with you. Um, it was a very, very tight game. Lead us through this game from your point of view. Yeah, I mean, it, it was a you know, just really tough match. You know, you know, nobody's making balls on the break, and it's really hard and difficult. Um, Shanjin played really well the whole week, and, you know, hats off to him, too. Um, you know, but this is a a really tough format, to, to be honest. So you got to get really lucky on the break and you got to run out. Sure. Do you agree when I say it was a match of generations? You, as a very experienced player against a very strong young guy from Bosnia-Herzegovina and also again congratulations to Sanim. Would you agree with that? I mean, I'm trying to do the best I can do. You know, I, I had a lot of experience, you know, playing, playing pool for 20 years. So, I mean, just, you know, that's all I can do, to do the best I can do. Um, I'm pretty sure it's just Sanjin going to win, you know, in the future. You know, he's young and I'm probably not going to be around much longer, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, there's a lot of young players coming out there and uh, they're dominating pool. And it's getting really tougher and tougher, so all I can do is do the best I can do. Thank you so much. I'll leave it for the moment. Congrats again, the new world champion, Shane from Burning. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, we will come back in a few moments. We will prepare everything for the official award ceremony. Thanks for that.
See you in a few moments. Also, Josche, vielleicht übersetzen wir das noch einmal für unsere Gäste hier im Sportpark. Also, er hat es angesprochen, das ist so schön, er ist schon so lange dabei und trotzdem immer noch was ganz, ganz Besonderes, vor allem wieder ganz oben zu stehen. Und er hat es ihm auch angesprochen, es ist schön, er weiß ja nicht, wie lange er selber noch spielt, dass junge, starke Nachkommen. Ja, und hat natürlich auch seine Kontrahenten ein bisschen Blumen oder Hosen gestreut und sagt, das ist wahrscheinlich der Mann der Zukunft. Und er wird noch viele Turniere gewinnen, wird vielleicht auch Weltmeister werden, man weiß es wieder nicht. Aber wie gesagt, ein großer Sportler, sind wir stolz und froh, dass er bei uns da heute war und dass wir ihm wirklich da mal bei der Arbeit zuschauen konnten. Jetzt gleich mal in den Vorbereitungen, in wenigen Augenblicken starten wir mit der Siegerehrung. Wir würden uns freuen, wenn Sie da noch mit dabei sind. Und die besten Damen und Herren, die mit uns dann abfeiern. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an official uh, announcement. Uh, dear athletes, uh, please get to the arena on table two and prepare for the award ceremony. Please, all four women and men, get to table two to the arena and prepare for our award ceremony in a few moments. Ja, also liebe Fans, kommt ruhig näher hier ein bisschen jetzt an die Arena, also gerne auch an die Banden kommen, damit wir genug sehen, damit wir tolle Stimmung jetzt einmal machen können. Ladies and Gentlemen, please come closer to our arena for the award ceremony. Come to us, to the boys. We will start in a few moments. So please, once again, the ladies, please come to the arena. For the prize giving ceremony, we wait but gerne on the Damen. So much time must be. Normally it's the other way around. Normally the men are on us, right? Yeah, but so much time must naturally be. We see naturally here in the arena already the two champions. Show me how fast it goes on our animation. Sensational Bill and also we want to say thank you to the Berliner Group, Usha Billet Academy and Richtwert. The tables, the lights, everything from Predator for this World Championships to have a really, really great week here in Klagenfurt and it was a really, really good week. Yeah, and we want to also say thank you, Marco. We want to say thank you to all our sponsors and partners. Landskärnten, Landeshauptstadt, Capital City, Klagenfurt. 
die Stadtwerke Klagenfurt, Kabui Brands, Medalla Light und Rooms of Puerto Rico. Thank you for your partnership and thanks to all our sponsors and ladies and gentlemen. Next few moments, we are ready for the official prize giving ceremony. Ja, vielleicht noch ein Tipp, bitte nicht an unsere LED-Bande lehnen. Please don't lean on our LED borders, please. <laughs> Thank you so much. Predator World Pool Billiard Championships, the Klagen for Austria 2023. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official prize giving ceremony. Willkommen zur wunderschönen und tollen Siegerehrung an diesem wunderschönen heutigen Sonntag. Und wir beginnen, Marco, mit unseren Ehrengästen. Ladies and gentlemen, let us introduce you our dignitaries for the awards presentation. The CEO of the Predator Group, Karim Belach. From the World Pool Association, welcome Shane Tyree. Our representative of uh, Council of Sports City Klagenfurt, Magister Franz Petitz. Representative of Corinthian Sports, Magister Arno Arthofer. Ladies and gentlemen, the head of our OC, Mr. Gerald Florian. And of course, Yasmin Oshan, please come to us. And a big hand. The loudest applause for Yasmin. Our local hero, and here we go. Ladies first. Ten Ball World Championships 2023. Third place and winner of the bronze medal. Dritter Platz und Gewinnerin der Bronze Medaille. Representing Great Britain. Aus Großbritannien. Kelly Fisher. And of course, Alison Fisher. The bronze medals. Handed over by the representative of Corinthian Sports, Arlo Arthofa and Franz Petitz. <laughs> In second place. And winner of the silver medal, vice champion 2023. Zweiter Platz und Vize-Weltmeisterin 2023 Klagenfurt. Representing China. Aus China. Ha. Ü. The silver medal for the Vice World Champion is handed over by Shane Terry, the Vice President of the World Pool Billiard Association. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the new 8-Ball Women's World Champion. Und jetzt, meine Damen und Herren, ist es Zeit für die neue Weltmeisterin hier aus Klagenfurt. Representing the Philippines. Aus den Philippinen. Jessica Centeno. <laughs> the 
the medal for the new 10 ball women world champion was handed over by Karim Belach, the CEO of the Predator Group. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please all rise for the national anthem of the Philippines. Bitte erheben Sie sich von Ihren Plätzen für die Nationalhymne der Philippinen. Thank you, Shen. thank you so much. The new world champion, Jessica Centeno, Philippines. Thank you, Shen. thank you so much, and congratulations to the ladies. And that means we can continue with our men. Bei uns geht's weiter mit der Siegerehrung der Männer. We congratulate in third place and winner of the bronze medal. Auf dem dritten Platz und Gewinner der Bronzemedaille. Representing Austria. Aus Österreich. Max Lechner. And also in third place representing Poland. Auch am dritten Platz aus Polen. Wojciech Sefcik The two bronze medals are handed over by Anwar Tofa and Franz Petritz. In second place, the new Vice World Champion 2023. Auf dem zweiten Platz und neuer Vize-Weltmeister 2023. Representing Bosnia and Herzegovina. Aus Bosnia and Herzegovina. Sunny Bechlimandovic. The silver medal for the vice champion is handed over by Shane Terry, the vice president of the World Pool Billiards Association. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the champion of the 2023 WPA Predator Men's World 8 Ball Championship. Meine Damen und Herren, es ist Zeit für den neuen Weltmeister 2023 hier in Klagenfurt. Representing the United States of America. Aus den Vereinigten Staaten von Amerika. Shane van Bolling. That's the gold medal for the world champion handed over by Karim Bilhaj, the CEO of the Predator Group. Now, ladies and gentlemen, to honor our new world champion, the national anthem of the United States of America. We hear the national hymn of the United States of America.
champion, the new world champion, Shane von Bonin, United States of America. Congratulations and thank you to all athletes for this spectacular week here in Klagenfurt, Austria. Thank you to all fans and thank you to all sponsors and partners, also to our organization committee. It was a very, very beautiful week here again. And that's it for the moment. Thanks to all of you in front of the TVs all over the world. Greetings from Austria. Goodbye.